Hey everyone, thank you for joining me here in my truck. I'm just waiting on my little girl to get back from her event this evening. I thought I'd just, just give you a quick shout. I'm here, sitting here, uh, reading Genesis chapter 3. and reading about the fall of Adam and Eve. And just, I'm just amazed how the same tricks that the devil used on Adam and Eve, he's using the same tricks these days and die in, in these days and times uh, coming against the gospel of Jesus Christ we say that it is by grace through faith alone that we're saved it's a free gift and those that are a works based that are under a works based system they say did really God did God really say just by believing that you could be saved did God really say that? Oh no, you have to repent of your, all your sins. Be basically perfection. Reach perfection here on earth. That's what you're saying. When you're saying you have to repent of all of your sins and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you're saying that you have to be perfect here on earth. Well, I got news for you. You're still, we're still stuck on earth. Imperfect place. Heaven is perfection. You will not reach perfection until you get to heaven. So let's go back and read Genesis chapter 3 for a moment. And you will see how Satan got Eve when he questioned her. She not only repeated what God said, but added to the word of God. And that's what happens here with the gospel of grace. They say, oh yeah, we believe that it is by grace through faith, but you have to make sure that you're producing fruit or make sure you are forsaking sin whatever that means I don't, I'm not sure about that but um, so let's read chapter Genesis chapter 3 so it says this now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman ye hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So, let's read this back up and, and see what God actually said to Adam. Because God, as, as I see here, God didn't directly speak to Eve to get the commandment to her to about the tree in the midst of the garden. She got information from Adam. So let's read back where, what Adam said. It says, um, And the Lord God, or verse 16 and 17, The Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So, if you fast forward a little bit, let's jump back over to verse, chapter 3, verse 3. says, But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you should die. See how she added? She added to God's word. And that tactic is still happening today that we add to God's word on the gospel there are folks that add to God's word just like Eve I think Eve you know got a little little pride issue here and said oh yeah I not even know what God said I'm going to add to it myself you know and that's the same thing we do with the gospel oh it is really by believing oh no but you have to do something you have to do something you have to repent. You have to, or of all your sins. We need to repent. Repent is a change of mind. Metaneo, it's a change of mind going from the sin, repenting from the sin of unbelief to belief. Okay? That is one unforgivable sin, is the sin of unbelief. You realize that. So we have to repent from the sin of unbelief in order to be saved and trust God. And place our trust in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. But people want to add to Scripture. Just like Eve did. 
there there you see pride start to creep starting to creep in on Eve so let's read on verse 4 says and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die well see he twisted scripture just like you see the the, the scripture twisted in these days and times as well you know God chose you and not that other person for salvation. See how there's a direct lie. But in essence God did choose you. He chose the world. He loves. He first loved. We, first, we love him because he first loved us. You see how Satan is really crafty here. Of telling a truth and a lie at the same time. Do you realize that? He tells a truth and a lie at the same time. Just like the false teachers do. Oh yeah, we are saved by grace through faith. Then on the flip side of that, say, no, you are chosen. You are chosen by God. No, we, we are we're chosen to serve in, a, in, a, in our vocation, in our Christian vocation, in our, in our, um, in our, um, our spiritual gifts. He chooses us to to walk out our gifts, to walk out our work. As that was preordained. Pre -ordained. Check Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 out, that we should walk in. That's why I should is very important. He didn't say you will or must or shall. He said you should. So here again, this is the same old, same old trick that Satan pulls. So whoever is preaching a false gospel, you know, it sounds to me that they have a false spirit, as it states in the Bible. I'm not sure where it's at right off hand, but Paul states that you know, if you believe a false gospel, you got a false spirit or similar spirit or familiar spirit. Well, you have a lying spirit, what you have, too. Because we know Satan, Lucifer, he is the chief liar. He's the chief liar. And he says, again, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, as shall God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye should die. That's Eve there talking. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. Well, should we die. We die eventually. Not right away, but we, we also spiritually died as well. We have a physical death now. And now we're basically spiritually, spiritually dead um, to God. In unbelief, okay, but he did give us the uh, capacity, the, the 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 light of reasoning and light of conscience to believe the gospel and make sense of the gospel. We have a sin debt to pay for. It does not take a spiritual, <laughs> I don't know, a spirit. You know, that's it's it's a power of God, unto, power of God unto salvation. Yes, but the the, the gospel were designed is designed. Specifically designed for the unbeliever. Do you realize that? The gospel is specifically designed for the unbeliever to understand, to grasp. The gospel is not for the believer. It's for the unbeliever to become a believer. That's why Satan wants to twist his word. He wants, he wants to twist the gospel like he twisted, twisted to hear it on Eve to get her to fall. To get all humanity to fall. And he did it. He was successful. And there are successful false teachers out there. Is teaching the same garbage. As the serpent did in the garden. It's a Luciferian. It's a Luciferian gospel. You want to come right down to it. Jesus says. I beheld Satan fall. As a lightning. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14. Let's let's start there. Let's read let's read that a bit. And we'll see uh, you'll see Lucifer fall. Isaiah chapter 14, I believe is 14. And let's see. I got back up here. Thank you for spending time with me this evening. Um, let's see if I can get this done before the kids come. So he says yeah, 
Isaiah 14, starting in verse 12. O art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, Lucifer, the son of the son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weakest the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit up, sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell through the sides of the pit. They that see they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, It is is this the man that made earth to tremble that did shake the nations? You did you notice how many I statements there are in this pride? Well, same thing with the false gospel. People will say, I repented of all my sins. Oh really? Really? Oh, I go to church every waking moment. I um was bapt I was baptized. So therefore I get to go to heaven. I did many wonderful works and helped many hospitals and orphanages out. I tithe my money. See there? That does not save. It's a Luciferian gospel, what you're teaching. The one true gospel of grace is that Jesus paid your sin debt for you. He paid it all. Past, present, future sins. But anyway, think about that. Think about the Genesis. And think about how Satan beguiled Eve. And, and, and she gave the fruit to Adam as well. And how prideful, how pride crept in. And from there, that's how sin came into the world. It's the same old trick, guys. Don't fall for it. But that's all I have for now. I'll say I love you. And I will catch up with you soon. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye-bye.